Hey everybody, I'm going to show you all real quick um, some of the pages I've done in my Michael's smash book type thing. I'm just going to call it my Michael's smash book. Um, it's that recollections uh, smash book stuff that Michael's has. And for those of you who haven't seen uh, my other video where I showed um, the stuff that I got from that line, this is the book that I got when it has a little bicycle on the front and all these other things. And the back. I like that it has stuff on the back, too. It's really cute. Okay, but anyway, um, I did, I think it was like um, three pages um, yesterday or day before yesterday. I'm not sure. I might do some more today. I don't know. Okay, wait. I think this is the first one. Yeah, this is the first one. And this is a picture. Okay, my camera is... I'm using Elijah's camera again. It looks fuzzy, or the picture looks fuzzy. Let me try to. Hmm. Okay, well that's good enough, I guess. Um, this is what I did on this page. Uh, I splattered it with, um, I don't know if this was Delusions, right? Yeah, I think it was. And the thing with it was, no, wait, was this Delusions, right? No, 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 this was Mr. Huey. But um, it went through to the other side. It, like, soaked through. You could um, see the spot, like, kind of, well, it wasn't faint. You could see it. I couldn't just, um, I ended up doing working on the page behind it because it was bugging me and I knew I was going to have to cover it where the little spots were. So I don't know if maybe I dripped too much or... Because I know Emily, I think Emily had done some... I don't know, Emily, did you do some splattering or misting or something? I believe I saw she did some on hers. I don't know. Did, um, tell me if it went through on yours also, on your page. And it's pretty. it's pretty thick. It's a pretty thick um, page. It's like cardstock weight, and I usually splatter on my um, layouts that are like um, with cardstock weight paper, and I don't ever remember it going through. But anyway, um, so it went through, but whatever. And like I said, I, I did the page on the back and covered up the spots where you could see it. This thing right here um, with the yellow border and then this um, airmail looking washy stuff. Um, was from the um, We Are Memory Keepers, uh, what is that called? Albums Made Easy, the little um, 4x6 pads that I got at Target. That was one of the sheets. And then um, I put this little piece of cloud washi because there was a little piece of blue fake washi like this on there. But when I put, put the picture there, I covered up half of it. So I put this washi there so, so it kind of, you know, go with the with that flow right there and then I put another piece of washi right here and then this is a um, tab from the pebbles seen and noted stickers that Emily sent me that's what that is and I just wrote Max and mommy and this is an arrow from those stickers also and I want to say that this is also this thing that says you and me but I traced around it and then I made this little um, there's like a piece of, there's some schmutz there. Um, I made this little black and white um, doodle border around it. That wasn't on there. And then I put some more washi down here. And then I just put, I love, love, love this puppy. And this was a picture of me and Max on um, Halloween with his hot dog costume. But you probably can't see all his costume. And then I just traced the little hearts and then I traced the whole page like I always do. And did some little fake stitching and and that was it so that was one of them and I, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks I like that one and then I did this one and this one I like this part oops sorry guys I like this part down here and I like the um, the banner I'm not too crazy about the doily I don't know something about the doily is bugging me Maybe it's too big. Maybe it was a smaller one or if I had done it like kind of like this. And um, I misted it with um, one of my delusion sprays. And this was um, Echo Park, one of the little birds. This was actually a printable. 
and I printed it out and um, colored it. It was um, gray and I colored it in black because I wanted a, a black bird there. And I did this little dot, 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 dot thing on top of the banner. Um, but yeah, I'm not too crazy about the doily. I love the way the doily itself looks. That The way it looks, it came, the way it came out sprayed with the delusion sprayed. I love that. I want to do that to some more doilies to use on my on my um, layouts and stuff. But yeah, I don't really like the way it looks up there. But whatever, it's stuck down. I can't do anything about it now. Um, I put some um, sequins there. Um, this is just a little piece of scrap paper that I um, cut the little um, tab on the end. And I put the date. And then this is a little um, punched out heart. And this thing that says capture the moment is from um, a... Echo Park Everyday Eclectic printable that I got off of Jessica Spray. And um, these are Everyday Eclectic as well as the letters I used to spell today. And then I just put some more sequins right there. And this is a picture of me on my birthday. That was um, last month. And okay, so there's those two. And let me find the other one. I think what I don't. Now that I think of it, I'm not too sure if I was done with the other one. Uh, maybe it's over here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I was done. This is, um... See, I splattered here, too. And let me check real quick. I don't know if I checked. No, it didn't go through. Maybe I just put too much on the other one. I don't know. Okay, so this is, um, these are some pictures of me and my best friend at the 10th Avenue North concert that we went to um, at the beginning of this month. And um, I just splattered um, this little thing right here is an American Crafts rub-on from one of those little remarks books. I don't know which one exactly. Um, these banner sticking out right here are from the Michaels um, Smash, Recollection Smash stuff. It was a little sticker, pack of sticker, banner stickers that, um, that I got there and um, I cut them kind of I cut them down a little bit because they were going too far off the page and so I did that there and then these um, letters that well they're not letter stickers I was gonna say letter stickers um, these letters are American craft rub-ons that I love I can't they're they're tiny they're like half an inch maybe no a little bigger than half an inch I'm not sure of the font but I love these um, rub-ons and I love the font and I'm kind of sad or whatever because you can see right here there's there was a little bird and um, it was supposed to start over here obviously I wasn't trying to cover the bird but um I was going backwards so you know so that I wouldn't cover the bird and so I had put the 10 and then I was like oh I had spelled tent I mean obviously that I mean I know how to spell tent that was just a mistake so I had to, and I even tried to pick it up with tape because you can um, pick up a rub-on with, um, what do you call it, um, scotch tape. But um, you probably can't see. Let me bring it closer. Mm. No, you can't see. But um, I was trying to pick up the, well, maybe you can kind of see right there between the T and the H. I was trying to pick it up and I ended up, it was starting to tear, to tear the page. So I stopped and I was like, no, oh, I'm just going to leave it there. So I just put a, uh, another H on top of there. I like the way it looks, except for the fact that it's covering the little bird because it was cute. Um, This little arrow is, I believe, that's also from the um, Seen and Noted stickers that Emily sent me. And it was just a longer arrow, but I just cut it down so that it could fit right there. And then this little decoration was already on there. And then um, th this is a picture of the of the band before the concert um i put meet and greet it wasn't really a meet and greet i don't know why i put that <coughs> excuse me i should have put q a it was a q a with the with the band and then that's a picture of me and my friend with our vip passes and um that's it so that's all i've done and um like i said i'm gonna see if maybe i can get some or a couple of pages done today i did two more pages in my daily Maybe I'll show those to y'all right now. I did two more pages in my um, Project Life. For those of you who um, who have me on Facebook or have uh, me as a friend on Facebook, I found a kitten on our front porch um, two days ago. Wednesday, on Wednesday? Yeah, no. 
yeah, two days ago. And um, let me try to zoom in. That's the little kitten. And it is so cute and fluffy. Um, it's like a long-haired cat. I don't know what kind of cat it is, but it's a, a long-haired cat. And um, that day, I was, um, I don't know what I was doing, sitting in the living room. Maybe I was watching TV, and I just kept hearing some really loud meowing. And I'm like, I mean, I mean, really loud. I was like, what is that? Well, I mean, obviously, I knew it was a cat, but I was like, where is it coming from? So I opened the door, our front door, and the little kitten was on the porch. And so um, I went out there and I, I grabbed some some turkey and I went out there and, and fed it. And I don't know if maybe it belongs to somebody or belonged to somebody. Like maybe somebody didn't want it anymore and dumped it or whatever. Because it let me pick it up. It let me touch them. And usually kittens that are like born like, for lack of a better word, like on the streets and stuff like that. They won't let you touch them. They won't let you pet them and stuff. They usually hiss at you and try to scratch at you. And. And she didn't, so I don't know if maybe somebody just didn't want her anymore. I don't know, but um, these are some little yellow bicycle stickers. And then this is a banner uh, from those Everyday Eclectic printables that I talked about a minute ago. And then I just doodled around it, and that's a picture of the kitten eating on the porch. And then I just journaled right there. This is um that Studio Calico tab, like Days of the Week stamp. And then these are some... Uh, no, did I say, no, these are not Little Yellow Bicycle. I think that's what I just said. These are my little shoebox, as well as those right there. And then this was yesterday, and um, that day, this day, when um, when Elijah came home, Elijah loves cats, and dogs too, I guess, but um, he saw the kitten, he was like, oh my god, he just fell in love with it, and he was out there playing with it and stuff, and so yesterday, um, it was still hanging around, I figured we fed it, so it's going to hang around. And um, so he was outside on the front porch um, playing his guitar and the little kitten was out there. And I picked it up and I found out it's a girl. Well, I mean, I had picked it up the day before, but I checked and it's a girl. Um, so we're thinking about keeping her. I want to keep her. And um, I like cats. I know we have Max and we had a cat before. Um, but when we adopted her, she was um, she was already like full grown. I think she might have been two years old. I'm not even sure. Um, there's some gunky on my picture. Um, I kind of like the fact that it's a kitten still and she can grow up with us like the way Max did. We had Max when he, we got Max when he was like three weeks old, I think. So we had Max from when he was a teeny tiny puppy. He's like, we're all that he's ever known. So, um, I kind of like the fact that it's just a kitten and we can like raise her and she can grow up with us so I'm debating keeping her I bathed her today I brought her in and the poor thing had fleas it was, she didn't have a ton of fleas I remember when we had Matt when we first got Max Max was like covered in fleas and it took us so long to um, bathe him and get the the fleas picked off of him and stuff and she did have quite a few but nowhere near as Ma uh, as many as Max did and so I bathed her in the in the bathroom sink, and she did pretty good. I was kind of freaked out because I know cats don't like water, and I was watching um, videos on YouTube, like trying to see like how other kittens reacted to water or how people went about like bathing them and stuff. And a lot of the little kittens would like freak out, not freak out horribly, but you know they were clawing and trying to get out of the sink or whatever they were bathing them in. Some of them were actually swimming, like in a tub like there was like three little kittens and they were swimming around the tub so I guess they liked it I guess it just depends on the cat but anyway so I was preparing myself in case she did freak out but um thank god she didn't and she seemed to actually like it and she was falling asleep um several times when when I was washing her I had her like sitting on a towel and she was starting to like doze off it probably felt really good poor thing to get those things picked off of her and to get a nice warm bath but anyway, so this was yesterday, and this, um, hello, my name is, I think, either Emily sent me it, sent me it, <laughs> sent me it, sent it to me, or Eureka sent it to me. I'm not too sure. Um, and these are some Heidi Swap, some old Heidi Swap stickers. These, um, sticker, oh, and I named her Snickers. I don't know why. That was the first thing that came to my, to my mind, and, and afterwards I was like, you know what, maybe we should name her Mia. Because it's like Max and Mia and it sounds kind of cute. But 
I don't know. I just didn't like it. I was calling her Mia, and I was like, no, I'm going to name her Snickers. So I named her Snickers. I stitched through, through the letters just because. And um, that's a little punched out heart. This is just a little scrap of I don't know what. Um, that's a piece of a ticket. This is like some, um, what do you call this? Like that torn notebook border stuff. Um, I punched out two little hearts right there. And then I backed it with that um, chevron paper on the other side. But I'm going to cover it on the other side so it doesn't matter. Um, this is just a scrap of paper, uh, a little piece of washi. Um, this is like a little um, making memories label, I think. And um, then I just traced it, doodled on it, whatever. Um, oh gosh, I was just going to say something and I totally forgot. Hmm, I don't know. So anyway, yeah. Oh, this card. Um, this card is, um, Emily sent it to me and uh, just the other day in, in my last um, video where I did um, the package that she sent me, um, she sent me this card and I think it was... Um, Oh my gosh, what is her name? Tracy. Tracy? Yeah, Tracy um, and Avery had sent this card to Emily, and I believe it's from Archivers. So that's what I used there. And so this is the back of it, and that's where I said I, I am going to have to cover it uh, with a piece of paper to cover the stitching and this little piece of paper that I did there. But anyway, yeah, and look at her. She is so adorable. She is so cute. Look at that little face. She's so cute. I'm going to try to clip her nails. I'm, I think she'll let me do it. She was really good about her bath, and she's pretty good about letting me hold her and stuff, so I don't think I'll have a hard time clipping her, um, the tips of her nails, so she doesn't scratch. Um, and she's in the bathroom. I left her in the bathroom after I bathed her, um, just in case she does have any fleas. I don't want her walking around the carpet, and we have um, ceramic tile in the bathroom. And so I do want to get her um, on some oral flea medicine or something as soon as we can. And like take her into the vet where we take Max so that they can get her checked out just to make sure she doesn't have anything. Um, yeah, so those are the two pages that I did. And so then I'm all caught up, thankfully. I just need to do today. And um, so I'm, I'm good to go with my December daily also. So I can't wait to start working on that. It'll still be like, um, you know, like mixed stuff like this, but with all the Christmas pictures and stuff, I'm looking forward to that part of it. So anyway, um, and somehow I still managed to make a 17 minute video. Um, thank you guys for watching and I hope y'all are having a good day and I will talk to you. Oh, you know what? Um, my giveaway. I'm going to get something together. As soon as I finish doing this video, I'm going to try to get something together. Um, I think I'm at 104. Or I think the last time I checked I was at 150 subscribers. So since I already passed 100 and I'm pretty close to 200, I think I'm going to get something together. And when I hit 200 subscribers, I will pick a name or I still haven't figured that part out. Um, I'm going to ask Emily. Emily, I know Emily has done a, a giveaway before or a couple of giveaways. So I'm going to ask Emily for some pointers or what. Um, to give me some ideas on how go, to go about doing my giveaway. So I'm going to get something together and then maybe I can, if I have enough time, I'll do a, a really quick video of um, what I'm going to give away. And then um, as soon as I talk to Emily and find out like a good way for me to go about um, picking a winner, I will let you all know and then I will pick a winner. So um, thank you guys for watching and I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you all later. Bye.